guilty, I guess. If he met with, with foul play or, or some terrible accident of some kind, then, then it's partly my fault. You see, because secretly, I wished it. <laughs> Audrey, you don't have to spend one more minute worrying about that creep. A lot of guys would give anything to go out with you. Nice guys. I don't deserve a nice guy, Seymour. That's not true. You don't know the half of it. I've led a horrible life. I, I deserved a creep like Orrin Scrivello a DDS. You know where I met him? In the gutter. The gutter? The gutter. It, it's a night spot. I used to work there on my nights off when we weren't making much money. I'd put on cheap and tasteless outfits. Not, not nice ones like this, just low and nasty apparel and I... <laughs> Audrey, that's all behind you now. You don't have anything to be ashamed of. You're a very nice girl and I always knew you were. Underneath the handcuffs and, and the bandages, you know what I saw? Seymour. A girl I respected. I still do. Lift up your head. Wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. Show me your face. Clean as the morning. I know things were bad, but now they're okay. Suddenly, Seymour. Standing beside you. Anymore. You don't need no makeup. Don't have to pretend. Suddenly, Seymour is here to provide you sweet understanding. Seymour is your no, friend. Buddy. Please understand that it's still strange and frightening. 